Hi guys, in this video I'm going to look at the Cinephoto M2522 camera tripod. This is a lightweight aluminium travel model. It comes with a padded case. And inside there is another case for the ball head. Some spares and the instructions. Then the tripod itself. The tripod is stored with the legs folded back to save space and they're opened out and locked in position. The ball head screws onto the tripod. And the locking rings are released to extend the legs. You can also extend the centre column for extra height. There's an Arca Swiss type quick release plate with an adjustment slot. Which is useful on this camera for positioning the plate so that it doesn't interfere with the battery door. The ball mount is made from aluminium alloy with a 28mm ball. And the action of the ball mount is smooth with a firm lock and overall it feels very good quality. The tripod when it's fully extended has a maximum height of 55.9 inches or 1420 millimeters. The angle of the legs can be selected with a catch on each leg. And this gives several mounting options with the wider angled legs giving good stability. To increase the stability further, a weight can be added to the spring-loaded hook on the base of the centre column. And while I was filming this, much to my surprise, a deer wandered across the end of the field. Another option that is not mentioned in the manual is that you can invert the centre column. To do this, the spring hook is unscrewed from the centre tube. The locking ring released, and then the centre tube is removed and reinserted from below. The locking ring is tightened and the spring hook should be replaced as this prevents the tube falling out. So this is useful for taking low or overhead shots and I often use the tripod like this when I'm filming projects. You just have to remember to flip the image in the camera settings or with the editing software. The final option is to convert the tripod into a monopod. This is much smaller and lighter to carry around than the full tripod. First the ball head is removed, then the short screw. Remove the padded leg. Replace the short screw with a longer one supplied in the kit. And then it can be reassembled as a monopod. The extended length is approximately 42 inches or 1080 millimeters. And retracted it is approximately 15 and three quarters of an inch or 400 millimeters. For videoing it's quite useful as a counterbalance or stabilizer when you're walking around. And also for stability when you're in a fixed position. The only other thing I haven't mentioned is the weight. The tripod weighs 1042 grams or 2 pounds 4.8 ounces and the ball head weighs 303 grams or 10.7 ounces. So overall I'm very happy with this tripod. The ball head is very smooth to operate and the tripod is also quite flexible. I use it quite frequently in my workshop for filming projects and it does get quite a hard life and so far it has survived the onslaught very well. So I'm more than happy to recommend it. They're currently selling for about $59 or 60 quid and I'll put the Amazon links in the video description. They are affiliate links which means that Amazon pay a small commission if anyone purchases items through the link. Prices are exactly the same but Amazon makes slightly less profit and it goes towards covering the cost of running this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.